Hi guys, today I'm back with another hair damage diary. I feel like this is going to be number three, but you'll already know where the title, um, how many there have been before and I will link them below. Um, I just want to preface this video with a little statement. Um, the last time I filmed one of these videos, it went like really negative really, really quickly. And that is like at least 50% my fault because negativity breeds negativity and I was definitely becoming kind of defensive and irritated by comments that I don't in, in most part um, feel were kind of aimed at me in that way. Um, for, I'm, I'm like massively, massively lucky with the following and the viewership that I have in that everyone's really positive. Not that you need positivity all the time, but you know, compared to what it maybe was like a few years ago, everyone's really, really positive and it's a really nice place to be. Um, and so I kind of, I don't know why I felt so defensive about that, but I think in part it was because I was answering the same question constantly. And obviously, if you're a bit sensitive about something and someone kind of picks at it or tells you what you don't want to hear, then if you read that enough times, you become a bit irritated. Um, and so, you know, first and foremost, I don't want that to happen this time. And that's part of the reason that I put off doing this video because I really wanted to, and I've kind of left it till the absolute last minute because tomorrow I'm doing something major with my hair. Um, and so there'll be two hair videos up this week, potentially another one on Friday. I might do a bonus video this week because uh, I have a little bit more time, but um, I just kind of wanted to explain why I haven't done the update when I, I thought I was going to be doing it. Now I put something on Facebook last week saying that I wanted to do the update but I didn't want the backlash of negativity that I got last time and I didn't know what to do. Um, and a couple of people came up with their suggestions and more than anything I just want to clarify what this video series is for. So first of all, um, it's to chronicle what I do to try to kind of live with and grow out the damaged sections of my hair, which if you watched my previous videos you'll know what they are but I'll show you a little bit in this video. Um, <clears throat> Also, it's to chronicle them, I mean it's for me, so I can see what happened and what I did in the future if I want to look back on it, I'll know. Um, and I can also kind of mark the progress, because sometimes it's easy to kind of look at something and think, oh it's not changed, it's not grown, it's not this, it's not that. But if you actually chronicle the stages and the journey, then it's easier to look back and go, oh no, okay, I, I'll, I can be a little bit more um, objective and see that it actually has, there has been an improvement. So part of it was for me and another part of it is for people like me who are maybe finding these videos now or in the future, finding themselves in the same situation and want to see how someone else is dealing with it. Um, now this is part of the reason that I think I was so defensive in the comments the previous video because a lot of the, the people that got involved in the comments and a lot of people that were offering advice, I felt they weren't coming from the same place that I was. Um, it's kind of like someone who really, really enjoys exercise and running telling someone who's a real couch potato, like me, how amazing it is and how easy it is to get fit. It's, it's diff two different mindsets. I'm someone that likes change. I love to change my hair. I love to mess with my hair. It's very unlikely that I'll ever completely grow out my natural colour and leave it alone and stop messing around with it. I'm always going to cut it in strange, <laughs> strange ways and strange cuts and want to do something different, style it differently, bleach it make it pink, make it green, make it blue. I've been all kinds of different colours and that's the kind of personality that I am. And so if you're a personality that your hair is long and natural and you've never done anything to it, you'll be absolutely tearing your hair out looking at me thinking, why are you doing this? Because that's my personality. And something that someone on Facebook did say that I'm almost directly quoting is if you fundamentally disagree with what I do to my hair and the way that I behave with my hair, just don't watch these videos because you're going to hate it. I'm not the kind of person that's going to just leave it alone. And I know that loads of you want me to and you've said, you know, oh, dye it back to your natural colour and leave it, you know, your poor hair, that kind of thing. I totally appreciate that most of those comments are coming from a place of um, you, you want me to have nice hair and you can see that it, it's really like affected my mood in times or at times uh, when my hair has been really, really rubbish. But I'm just not going to do that. That's not my personality. I'm not going to leave my hair alone. And so I'm making these videos for people like me who found themselves with damaged hair because like me, they've messed about with it. I really enjoy watching other people's videos like that. And hopefully some other people will find these helpful. Once I'm kind of done with them all, it will be a series of videos that you can see. These products that I, I used worked. These products didn't work. Just opinions about things and what I did whilst I was growing out. So rambly kind of statement out of the way. I just wanted to put kind of a little disclaimer out there that this is what this video series is for. I totally appreciate if you want to give me advice, but please appreciate that we may be completely different personalities and it might not be advice that suits me. Um, so, since my last video, I waited 13 weeks, I counted in my diary when it actually was, 
before I went back to the hairdresser. So in the me meantime, I did go back for a consultation about my hair extensions, which I talked about the last time. Um, and they kind of said what they wanted to do with it. They wanted to even out the colour and that I would come back in January, which is tomorrow. So I'm super excited that I'm having my hair extensions tomorrow. Um, but I want to address a few things about those as well because people have um, said that they're kind of concerned about the damage to my hair and all that stuff. So again, risk for me to take, totally understand that it's a risk, uh, but I feel like it's a measured risk and I'm quite happy with taking that risk. Having done some research and spoken to the people at the salon, um, also they are providing me the extensions for review and I feel like that is the best case scenario. If someone is giving you something, a service to review, you will get the absolute best possible service. So I'm having the hair extensions done tomorrow and um, a week ago, which would be 13 weeks, it's 14 weeks now, uh, since my last anything was done with my hair, um, I had my hair coloured. So I have some before and after pictures, and the before and after pictures aren't like, wow, that's a huge difference, but everything just looks a little bit more polished, and he basically took what was very, very close to my own natural root colour and pulled that out, but it, it was a little bit more interesting, so a little bit warmer and less mousy and rubbish, but the same kind of depth. So I didn't feel like when he did that, oh my god, my hair is so dark. I actually really, really liked it. It's the first time I've had my hair coloured quite close to my natural colour and thought, I could actually do this. I could actually have hair. I like it against my skin. Um, I could have hair similar to my natural colour and not hate it. So that was quite a, a big deal because as you guys know, I love my blonde. Uh, and whenever I go blonde, I go really, really blonde. So it was, I thought it was going to be difficult, but it actually wasn't. I was, I was quite, quite enjoying the kind of root colour that I have here. Um, the blonde that I had towards the end, I mean, it's faded since I had it coloured a couple of weeks ago. It was like a week and a half ago. Um, it's faded since then. And it's very, very blonde on the ends. I'll show you. It's a real mess right now because I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to kind of wash it and blow dry it and all that stuff and then have stuff done to it tomorrow. I want to leave it as much as possible. So the very, very ends are still very, very blonde because that wouldn't really hold colour anyway. So it's kind of pointless to colour the ends of my hair and then have extensions because then the ends would fade and they wouldn't blend. So that's what I spoke to him about and he agreed. So we've had um, kind of a, it was probably to about there, but it has faded. That's my root, my actual root that hasn't had bleach on it goes to about there now. Um, and then I've got a kind of medium blonde colour and then the end colour he just kind of toned a little bit. So that's what we're working with with the extensions. I'm going to have this exact colour basically and he's going to have to hand paint the extensions that are put in my hair, which I'm interested to see because you can't get ombre, in, ombre, in, ombre extensions that are short. So that'll be interesting as well. Uh, but that's the first thing that I had done. I went and had um, a treatment there and I had my colour redone, which I really, really like. So I'm all the more excited to have the extensions and now I'm happier with my colour. But I did discover in the week leading up to my colour that I'd had quite a bit more breakage since my last update video. Um, now, when I last updated, I said that my salon that I was going to, and I'm not saying I'm never going to go back there, I may do, um, but the salon I was going to looked over my hair, kind of basically took no responsibility for it whatsoever, um, but said it was a clean break. So I said, was there any point in having a little bit of the broken sections trimmed so that they didn't get worse? Could you see any other sections? She said, no, clean break, you know, the rest of your hair is absolutely fine. It's just this chemical break that you suffered during colour, which apparently wasn't their fault at all. Really irritating, actually. Um, but since then, I've definitely, definitely suffered more breakage. I have sections of breakage all around the top section of my hair. Um, which is really annoying, but the extensions will fill that out. And I just want to show you the worst part. And this is probably not even the worst because when you part it down the middle, I have this on both sides. I basically have two long sections around my face and then a weird, it's like it's been cut. So that there is actually totally short. And then it goes from about there, it goes long again. Long, you know, normal length hair. So I have a section on each side of my head where it's just like it's been cut. So I've managed to style my hair over the past couple of months in such a way that it kind of hides that a little bit. Um, but I, I did give myself a long period of time to really think about whether or not I want to have the extensions put in, and I definitely, definitely do. 
the idea is that they're going to fill out, I'm, I'm probably going to have a full head of extensions, there's not a lot of hair there so hopefully that means they don't have to put as many in, but we'll see. But I'm probably going to have a full head of extensions to just give me volume. Um, and I think the length that they're actually ordering is only to about there anyway, so it'll end up being shorter than that when all said and done. So I'm not looking at super long length, I'm not looking at hair that's going to kind of um, put tension on my real hair. The, ch the chance of having kind of bald patches or damage because of tension is very, very slim because they're not going to be heavy. They're going to be quite short and they're just hopefully going to blend in with my natural length. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit more length, but that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for it to be fuller and easier to style and just generally nicer. Next I'm going to talk about some products that I've been using. I think in the last video I talked a little bit about the products that I'd already mentioned that weren't all that great. Um, so this time I'm just going to show you the stuff that's really really great, the things that I'm going to recommend if you do have dry or damaged or broken hair. These are the products that I would recommend that you check out. So I've picked up some things, it's, it's a lot of stuff, but bear in mind this is more than six months worth of trialing products to see what works, what doesn't work. Um, and I've tried to kind of pick out really the best stuff that I really felt made an impact on my hair. So the first is the Purology. This one's called Perfect for Platinum Shampoo and I have the conditioner as well. It's pretty much empty now. You'll probably see this in an empty soon. Uh, one of my favourite shampoos that I tried throughout as a normal shampoo. So it didn't kind of add volume. I don't think that it made a difference to the breakage, but it just made my hair feel really, really nice. I would recommend this and I would purchase it again. Um, if you're just looking for a shampoo and conditioner that will be kind to your hair, not necessarily that it will do any one specific thing, but I think if I bought another one from there, I'd probably get like a moisturising one or something. But the Purology shampoo and conditioner were awesome. Um, I have another product from Purology, and that's the Colour Fanatic Multitasking Hair Beautifier. It's a spray that's supposed to do all these different things, and this has been something that I've raved about in the past, and something that I will continue to use on the extensions as well. As far as I'm aware, I'm getting keratin bonded extensions from Great Lumps, and as far as I'm aware, you can pretty much put anything on them, um, apart from kind of heat at the bonds, and they should be okay. You don't necessarily need to use sulfate free shampoo and conditioner, all that stuff. That's what my salon told me when I went in the other day. Um, so we shall see. I'm going to wait until I've got all of the full advice from them after having them done, from the woman who does the Great Lumps and from Great Lumps themselves. Um, so I'll tell you that in, in the next video on Wednesday, but uh, I, I intend to use this and continue to use this on the ends of my hair because it's been so, so nice uh, at keeping my hair just kind of tangle-free and shiny and just so nice. I was using this, in fact, in July or August when we went on holiday, and I remember when I sprayed it on my hair, it was a, a marked improvement. When I sprayed it on my hair versus when I didn't, I really noticed. If you've got kind of dry and frizzy hair, I think you'll love that. Um, a treatment that I had during that time, I think this was about October time, was the Pro Fiber from L'Oreal. These are two of the products from it. Uh, and this is again something I would really recommend if you've got frizzy hair. It's not necessarily something that's going to, all of these products really, to be quite honest, I don't think any of them do anything that is a lasting improvement to your hair. Uh, I think they're all kind of very superficial, very kind of on the surface, um, styling products effectively. Something that's going to help make your hair look and feel nicer, but not necessarily improve the health of it. So bear that in mind, but if you're in the position where your hair is just out of control, really frizzy, really damaged, really dry looking, any of these products will probably help you. But this was awesome. Uh, again, this was something that I was sent to have done for free, uh, but at my regular salon, so at the same salon where I suffered the breakage. Um, and I really, really liked it. It was a treatment. You kind of go in, £60 I believe, um, but that's not that bad when you consider you come away with products to last you for six weeks as well. So you go in, you have the treatment, and I think what it was, because it was a while ago now, was basically I had um, my hair shampoo that was all kind of as normal, and then they put this treatment on which is like a really thick conditioning mask. Um, and then they rinse it off and they blow dry it, and it just felt... It was very much, you, you could tell in hindsight that it was silicones, that were kind of, everything was sealed and everything was smooth, and my hair felt absolutely amazing. I was just about to get on a train with Laura from um, Laura's Eye View, and I was like, feel my hair, feel my hair, this is amazing. The ends of my hair felt just so, so soft. So again, if you want to treat yourself, and you're looking for, I mean, this does come with kind of full-size products, so it's not even necessarily if you want to treat yourself to a treatment, but if you want to kind of kickstart your hair health, or you know, faux health, or kickstart your hair looking and feeling nicer again, or you're just feeling really down about it and you want 
a boost. I would highly, highly recommend that. I believe quite a few different salons do it now because it's not like a, an intensive treatment where they need loads of stuff. It's just formulas that they've got, like creams and conditioners and all that stuff. So I had that done. It took like all in all maybe 45 minutes in total. I had my hair blown out. And um, from then, I think once a week, you use these vials. So you get a packet full of little vials. I still have some left, actually, uh, which, again, I intend on using right at the very end of the extensions to make sure that they st stay looking nice. Um, you get six vials. In theory, they last for six weeks. But because my hair's so short and fine at the moment, or thin, um, I was using half a vial at a time. So in theory, these products would last me for 12 weeks uh, if I could make the shampoo and stuff stretch as well, which is excellent value when you then consider you've got a salon treatment plus 12 weeks worth of products if you've got short hair, six if you've got long hair um, from your 60 pounds. Um, but I got a shampoo and conditioner of this range. And they also gave me this um, deep conditioner. I'm not sure whether or not the deep conditioner would come with it normally or whether you get kind of the shampoo and conditioner or this, I don't know. Um, and I also got the uh, Revive, what is this called? Serum in Gel. This is amazing. And this is the one thing I'm not, again, I'll try to link what I can below. And if I can find these things, then I will, I will link them. Not 100% sure whether you can just buy these on their own um, online. But if you can, if you don't want to shell out for the whole treatment, I think this was, once I got home, shampoo and conditioner were really nice, but this was the the real special product once I got home. Because the treatments that I was putting in my hair every week were very much just silicone-y. And I found it quite difficult to wash out um, and I felt like my hair was coated in something. Now, it was just kind of keeping on top of that coated hair so that it wasn't frizzy and stuff. So, depending on how your dry hair or how dry your hair is will probably be better for you. But I felt like my hair actually wasn't that dry most of it, it was just the very, very ends and those sections that were broken. So, I don't know, but this was amazing. This is basically just like a silicone -y serum that you put on the ends of your hair before you dry it. This again is something that I definitely felt a difference when I didn't use it versus when I did. This is something that I would highly, highly recommend even if you didn't go for the treatment. So hopefully I'll be able to find a link for that for you online. Um, another treatment that I was using was the Redken Extreme uh, Strength Builder. I also have the shampoo for this and the anti-snap. The anti-snap I'm a bit, a bit afraid of, and I don't want to recommend it. I was using it sporadically, but I kept hearing things about not using it too much. So I didn't want to use it because I was scared that it was going to dry out my hair and make it worse. Because if you use too much protein, um, it can actually end up making your hair bristle. Because you're not adding any moisture to your hair, you're just adding strength. Which sounds mad, because you would think the stronger that your hair is, the better. But you can actually overdose your hair with protein and make it brittle, which then will make it snap, which is insane. So if you overdo it with products like this, you will actually make your hair worse. You have to use them kind of sparingly. So I was using this once a week, um, and the Red Ken uh, Extreme stuff genuinely did stop my hair from shedding. I had clumps of hair coming out in the shower on the regular, and I started using this, and within a week, I saw hardly any by comparison. It was amazing. So if you are having a real panic moment and you think, I'm going to have no hair left. Highly recommend this. Definitely works. However, once I stopped using it, I did start to see more shedding. It never went back to that initial, oh my god, I'm losing so much hair. But I definitely would have had to continue to be using this, and I don't know how long for, because I feel like it was just putting off the inevitable of me losing sections of my hair, which is perhaps why I've found that since I've stopped using this, I've actually got lots more broken sections. I don't think it was because of this, but I think this was just putting off what was eventually going to happen anyway. So bear that in mind. But if you do have that, oh my God moment, and you want to slow it down, just so you don't panic, this is pretty good. If you only have kind of slightly dry hair or slightly damaged hair, and it's not actually breaking off all the time, once a week with that, we'll actually probably put it at bay. But once it's snapping, it's gonna snap anyway at some point. Um, I've got the Nanogen Thickening Treatment, which I have the shampoo and conditioner. Something, again, I don't use it all the time, and I've still got plenty of it left. Um, but this, again, definitely coats my hair with something. I definitely feel like everything is thicker when I use this. Um, I've also got the Root Boost Spray, but that makes me feel like I've got stuff in my hair. Now, depending on how I'm feeling, you know, if, if I'm going out and I really want to style my hair and I don't mind feeling stuff in my hair, then that's great. It does work well. Probably doesn't work all that much better than, say, the Dove version though, so bear that in mind because it's considerably more expensive. 
but this was really, really good. Definitely made everything feel thicker and like I had more hair. So if you've just got fine hair or very, very thin hair naturally, you'll probably really like this. But because I was also using lots of other treatments and sprays and conditioning things, I felt like maybe this was a little bit too much for my hair because of all the stuff I was using. But if you were just using, if you're looking for a thickening shampoo and conditioner, that was excellent. Lastly, the newest product that I've been using is the SP, which is from Wella, um, Lux Oil Keratin Conditioning Cream, along with the shampoo. I also have an oil. Now, I've been using those in conjunction with each other. I think probably what I end up, I will end up doing if I can use those products whilst I have the extensions in, is using the shampoo and the conditioning cream and then using this on the ends of the extensions because this really is a magical product. Um, but these make my hair feel really, really smooth as well. These are probably slightly nicer than the Pureology, but with the Pureology I felt like I wasn't putting anything extra on my hair. It was just a really nice basic shampoo and conditioner. It was making my hair feel nice. Whereas this still feels like I'm putting something onto my hair to make it look nice as opposed to really repairing it. Although it has got keratin in it, so same way as the Red Ken, perhaps not something you should use every single day or every single time you wash and shampoo because it's gonna have some kind of um, protein in it. I don't know. This is just kind of what I've gathered through my years of hair mishaps, <laughs> bizarre experiences that I've had. Um, so that's it, that's it for my kind of update for now. That's what's been happening over the past few months since I last spoke to you about my hair. I know this has been a long one, I'm gonna edit it down, but I'm just gonna kind of leave it as it is because it's just my stream of consciousness about my hair. Uh, if any of you are having similar problems, um, please feel free to share what you're doing um, or kind of if you've had this happen to you before. I must admit, since he coloured my hair, I had this done at Ross Leighton's salon in Leeds by Robert. Absolutely love the colour that he's put. It's not so easy to tell because um, it's really dark today. But he's done kind of really baby fine highlights. And this is not the best example either because he did it right down the centre of my hair. Look at this. Down the centre of my hair. So this is not kind of the best example of what he did. But he did some real baby fine highlights to kind of blend it. Um, but the, the brown colour that he put on, the very dark blonde, light brown colour that he put on my root, I absolutely love. And I feel like with me having the extensions, what my plan is, um, is to have, because the extensions will be right at my root, so this part of my hair is completely undamaged. The only, he's coloured it this one time, and it's practically virgin hair. So my roots are as strong as any part of my hair has ever been. Probably the strongest my hair has ever been, because it's unusual for me to let my roots grow out that much. Um, but what I'll probably end up doing, and what is my plan, is to have the extensions in, and then not colour it for the duration of having my extension. So I'll see how much growth I get. Potentially I would go back for some little fine highlights around my face, um, just because I like to have something a little bit lighter around my face. But other than that, I won't be doing anything to my hair colour or kind of chemical wise. So although there is the potential for the hair extensions to damage my hair, in theory, it should actually allow me to give my hair a bit of a break because there's no way I would leave my hair in the state that it is, in the colour that it is. I just, I'm not that kind of person. Totally appreciate that lots of you are like, ah, but I'm not that kind of person. I am i can't leave things alone. Um, whereas once I've got hair extensions in that are permanent to the degree that I cannot take them out for myself, there's only so many things that I can do with my hair. I'm sure I'll probably end up putting some crazy colours in the ends and stuff like that, so stay tuned for that. But my plan is not to touch the roots of my hair and allow it to grow out as much as possible whilst the extensions are in there and give it a break. Hopefully down the line when I do get them taken out and I can see the difference, I can just have kind of a section of extensions either side of my hair to fill out those broken parts until it's totally grown out. So we shall see, it's all a journey um, and hopefully it doesn't all go terribly wrong but if it does, I'll shave my head. <laughs> That'll be fun. Uh, but thank you for watching, thanks for those, those of you that have actually requested this video, quite a few people wanted to see the products that I've been using um, and kind of just an update on my hair, so this is that update. And I'll be back on Wednesday with a video, which will probably be more vlog style, we'll see, because um, it's, it's going to be like an all day process and by the time I get home it's probably going to be quite late. So we'll, we'll see how I manage to put that together, but the video on Wednesday will be all about my extensions and just kind of first impressions, having them fitted and all that stuff, before and afters. Um, but other than that, uh, I probably will do kind of in a couple months time products that I'm using and how I'm getting on with the extensions because I'm super nervous about whether I'm going to like them, whether they're going to be really uncomfortable, all that stuff. That's part of the reason I'm having them fitted 
a, a couple of weeks before we go on holiday as well, just to be on the safe side because I don't want to have them fitted and then, oh my God, so uncomfortable, blah, 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 and have to live with them. Worst case scenario, I've got time to have them taken out if they were really, really bad, uh, or I just couldn't style them, etc. So yeah, um, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.